What's up guys? It is me, The Last Game Hunter, and I am looking gang- No, no I'm not. I am not gangster looking gangster or prankster. Uh, maybe a bit of a prankster. But guys, today I wanted to talk about the wonderful world of the Xbox Series X. And I wasn't going to. I did the trailer a couple videos back and I wasn't going to bother, but uh, I got to. One, it kind of goes back to things I've been talking about with the whole uh, idea that Microsoft is looking forward at the computer thing. And then they build this console that looks like a computer. It's kind of brilliant when you think about it because there's a couple perceptions that I look at here. One, the box says power. It's not a big sideways console, even though you can, and yes, the rumors are you can lay it down sideways. So guys that are talking about, oh, it's not gonna t fit under my TV or fit in my entertainment center, you can flip it down. So it's not that big when you think about it. It's the width of a controller, guys. It's not massive. But when you look at the idea of it, there's a few things and a few things and a few ideas that make me believe why they did this. One, well, simple. PCs or computers, however you wish to call them, mean power. And if you build a console to look like a PC, it says one thing and one thing only power and to me that xbox says that all over it it's a very clean sleek i really actually like the look of it a lot this is a day one console probably for me um, i normally don't jump out on a day one and just go grab the new console but this one's caught my attention and there's a couple other design things that i think went on here one they didn't go all digital because guess what we collectors hate digital and thank you for putting an optical drive in that. But that optical drive could also be because of backwards compatibility. Now that was one thing that was really cool about this and announced this system has full backwards compatibility. I applaud you, thumbs up. Thank you, Microsoft. Keep up the good work on that. Like any PC, PCs would be backwards compatible one way or another. And Microsoft is keeping that idea and that trend going. So guys, Again, back on the PC thing. Remember that talk I had about PC versus console? Well, Microsoft seems to be taking a baseball bat and fixing that. The other thing, remember I talked about the whole idea of play anywhere? So all Microsoft games and, and, and so on, any new Microsoft or, or game released under Microsoft's control are hoping that it's play anywhere for anybody. So whether you're a PC player or a Microsoft player, or a PlayStation player, or a Nintendo player, whatever. There's no more fanboy needed. If you like a console, go buy it. And Microsoft stated and, and pushed the whole backwards compatibility thing along with Play Anywhere, PC. So you see where I'm headed here. They still know PC in a weird way has a dominance. So why make it look like a PC? Well. One, like I said, it said it stands for power, right? You look at that console, it does look powerful. It really does. It looks like a PC equaling power. And we all know they're PCs anyway, whether it be the PlayStation or the Xbox, they are PCs. They're AMD Ryzen based second generation with these new consoles or third generation, sorry, Zen 2 architecture. And they are PCs. Why not make it look like it? Why hide it? You can hide it in a box personally, the pictures that are floating around like this one of the PlayStation 5, horrendous. I personally think it looks like a toy. It doesn't look very good and there's no optical drive. Now this is probably just rumor to what it's going to look like, but if it does look like this, I don't want to see it. I think that's nasty. And then we got the Xbox. Now back to what this video is all about. The second thing besides power, well, cooling. This unit should be cooled. It's cooled by one fan. And when you look at the box, it's the width of a controller, which means you can get away with a 140 mil fan 
that can take all the heat from the bottom and push it out. Now, one unique thing about this design is what does heat do? It rises. So if you build this type of tower based PC looking console, your heat has nothing to do but rise. So all the venting's on top. So even if you didn't have a fan, the heat would actually dissipate out the top. Now with a nice 140 mil fan at the right RPM, you're not only not really gonna hear it, so you end up with the quietest console in gaming history, but you also move all that heat out rapidly. Now AMD and cooling systems have been known lately to be very, very amazing. There's not a lot of heat coming out of these things. Now that with the APU and everything built in, of course there's gonna be a little more heat because now your video and your power are coming from one processor, your APU. Now you're moving that heat, in my opinion, quite well, love the design. So haters be haters, that's cool. If you don't like the design, it's very simple looking. That's awesome. We're all, you know, able to have our opinion. And in my opinion, I love it. I think it's a very clean, sharp look, keeping with that Xbox idea, you know, that whether it was down sideways, it still kind of looked like that. Throw it up sideways, you still have a tower. They made it look more like a tower. And in my opinion, very innovative. And I like the idea of how it can be cooled. I think we have quite the nice product on our hands. Of course, we have to see it, test it, and I, at, at that point, I can actually give you my true thoughts on it. But right now, I think Microsoft's headed in the right direction. They know that PC is a very dominant force. Make it look like a PC. Put the thought in the gamer's mind that you're not just buying a console, you're buying a PC. You see how that works, guys? Brilliant. It's a marketing strategy. No matter how you look at it, you can look at it and say ugly. You can look at it and go, wow, that's pretty cool. But one thing to keep in mind is they're throwing that PC power equals PC or PC equals power in your face and you see it when you look at that console. That console is telling you, hi, I'm Xbox Series X. Not really cool on the name yet, but I'm here for power. Now, the Series X thing, really? I get it. I do get the idea of there's a series of X boxes and you can have an S or an X or whatever. But this thing is four times more powerful than an Xbox One X currently is. Now, I don't know what that really means at this point until we actually see it, try it, bench test it, whatever we can do with an Xbox, but that's pretty damn powerful when you consider the most powerful console is four times slower than this. So guys, again, this is just my thoughts on this. I was just really excited about it. I had to talk about it because everybody's like, well, it looks like a PC. Well, think about why it looks like a PC. And my, you know, gathering of it is, it's to put it in your mind. It's to take those PC gamers and maybe put a console in their hand. But here's the other cool thing about all of this. Microsoft doesn't care to play anywhere. They did that for one reason. Well, one, it makes them look like the good guy, the real good guy. Second, when you think about it, any Microsoft title now, if you buy it digitally, which I hate, I can play it on my PC, or I can play it on my Xbox, or I can play it on my Xbox against PC, or wherever, or I can play it on my PC against an Xbox, or a PlayStation, or whoever. Guys, that's brilliant. That is marketing. That is called brilliant. I think Microsoft may have screwed up the Xbox One or whatever that era you want to call it is, their Gen 3 console. But I think the war is definitely in Microsoft's favor at this point. Now, we have to wait for Sony's announcement, which I think is delayed. Uh, we have to wait to see what they're actually gonna say. We have to wait and see what this thing really looks like, because God, if it looks like that, I don't want one. It looks like a flipping UFO toy. It doesn't look good. It looks stupid, it looks cheap. But that's my opinion. Again, just like you may look at this Xbox and say, mm, I don't like it. We all have our opinions. We're also all in some weird way or form fanboys. Do I like the Microsoft product more than I like the PlayStation product? In my opinion, I always have. I was a Sega boy and Sega went to the Xbox love and all my exclusivity and my titles that I wanted on my Sega all of a sudden were on Xbox. And then later on, 
Sony got some exclusivity as well, which spread the love, because I mean, it would be suicide for Sega if they didn't do that. But it started with the Xbox original, the OG. And to this day, I will still continue to support and buy the Microsoft product. Will I get a PS5? Just like I did when I got a PS4, when I got a deal on it and it was cheap enough or I made a trade. That's the only way I jump on the PlayStation bandwagon unless they do something very innovative that catches my attention. But at this point, I do not see it. I think the Xbox is definitely gonna win the, we'll call it fourth gen for them console war. For uh, PlayStation, it will be their fifth gen. So you got PlayStation with an extra year of generations of power and performance. But we can actually go back and call the Dreamcast the first Xbox and say that this is their fifth gen console as well. But anyway guys, this is just my thoughts on the whole thing. I just wanted to do a quick video on it. Until next time guys, please stay tuned for the next episode of me. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Just stay tuned for the next episode of The Last Game Hunter and see what is next. I'm going to be doing some really cool videos soon and I just want you to watch them. Guys, till next time, game over.